move on to the sub episode two. I just would like to uh, state a couple of things of fact from book number one. Yeah, the uh, first episode happened around Station Square, and then the beach around Kel's house, respectively. And then uh, all this in episode two is like the scenario was around Kel's house, the river that flowed from there. And uh, then back in and then back in and then in episode three, it mostly happened around. It mostly happened in Quickville shopping mall, all the battle and everything. And, uh, you know, just like, you know, the rest of the scenario, like, you know, before what happened, started off from Cal's house and then ended up over at the Quickfield Shopping Center. So that's just an update, you know, just try and make it an update in all your book. Anyway. Anyway. And also, sub-episode one was based over in Fashion Square Shopping Center of Charlottesville, Virginia. But although I guess that's, uh, no, never mind. I said it. I don't care. Now come after me, especially since I'm in a big bad idiot. Uh, that black chick, Keith, who works over there. Do, do, do. Anyway. Sub episode two, starring myself again, The Rise and Fall of My Heart. It's based on real life, actually happened March 29th, 2005. So I'm waiting in my usual place, hoping, to, hoping for a girl to approach me. And then I'm thinking again. And also, like you know, my heart was also uh, shared like a couple of, uh, shared like a couple of years back. My uh, slow wheel, my uh, quote unquote slow wheel Ryan. Anyway, at this point, it's been almost a year and eight months now since I started my sweetheart search. I'll try a tract after eating my uh, eight chicken nuggets since I had a coupon. Maybe I'll get lucky today. And then all of a sudden this girl comes up. She's, it's, excuse me, but, huh? I heard that you were looking for a s sweetheart, right? And she says, uh, uh, yes. I happen to need of a girlfriend. So, uh, what's your name? My name is Fandana. I'm Christian, but you may call me Chris. So, I was wondering if you want to have a coffee at the, uh, shop with me. That's nearby. Uh, okay, sure. Then she walks off. I'm in shock, like, you know, oh my god, I was... I was eating my lunch, and then uh, suddenly this happened. Uh, oh, by the way, yeah. Uh, so it's like, you know, I'm meeting her in 15 minutes. I'm like, oh my god, 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 oh my god! Yes! Yes! My sweetheart search is finally over! Da! It is heaven! Heaven! Oh, look, it's the St. Peter. <laughs> Yay! So moments later, I'm at the nearby coffee shop, and I'm waiting for her to uh, meet me here. And say, oh, this is fantastic. A girl has finally noticed me. And we're about to drink together and talk. Oh, I'm so elated. Oh, and Rose Chu comes in. And she's like, oh, I'm excited too. You know, you finally did this, and it's all going well for you? <laughs> oh, yes, Rose Chu. I am also glad that all my hedgehogs are cheering me on too. Hey, listen. Why don't you go spread the word through how quick feel? Hmm. She'll be here. She'll be here soon. Okay, Pop. I'll check in later. Bubbles? Yeah, this is Rosie. Uh, you are not gonna believe this. As she walks off, talking to her on the phone. And then a few minutes later, and so Fandana's sitting from me. She says, "Like, so, how are you? Oh, I'm okay. Uh, so, what are your hobbies?" Oh, well, I enjoy playing my guitar and reading Chuck Power Duck. Oh, I bet that uh, you play very great numbers. Well, I've only practiced a couple of years, but I may play for you sometime if you like. Oh, yeah, sure. That'd be great. Also, please tell me about... Oh, wait, no. Also, please tell me about your, about your necklace. I said, oh, yes, my Sanchi medallion. This is the face of my Electric Hedgehog Pokemon. Let me show you my uh, Sanchi book and I had on me that day, for real. So I showed her a few pages. So after I left, I gave uh, Fandana, I looked back at her, I gave her a double take flirt, which I learned that uh, recently. And then I called my family and I retired to the spot by the tree in front of the uh, sun par. I started thinking and writing about steps for future dates and checked with my Nintendo DS game Sprung for uh, more tips. And uh, now we're looking on Rose Shoe, passing by the uh, coffee shop, talking to Wild Sanchi on, on her cell phone. Oh, yeah, Wild. Her name is Fandana. Yeah, you'd fall for her, too, if you were human. Oh, hang on. I hear some gossip. So she overhears. And it's like... 
Fandana, do I hear wedding bells? Or do you think he's dreamy? Oh, well, I'll tell you, I never meant anything. I was yanking his chain. It was my boss's idea. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Wow, I had to call you back, Rose, she says. Oh, poor Chris. I have to tell him. He'll be upset, but it's the right thing to do. Meanwhile, I'm playing Sprung, and so it's like, you know, I'm reading along. It's like, so do angels have names? Hmm, that sounds about right. Rosie approaches me. Uh, Chris? Yes, Rosie, what's up? Looking very concerned and deep in thought, she says, I'm sorry, but I have something very important to tell you. I overheard Fandana talking to her fellow employees. She said that she was playing you for a sap. She's not really interested in you. <gasps> I'm in shock. No, it cannot be true. I'm afraid it is. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, fine. I'll go ask her myself. Oh, shoot. Please watch my things and keep my spot warm. My usual spot I wait at, that is, at the mall. So then a moment later, I catch her attention and I say, Fandana? Uh, yeah? Listen, I just heard from a friend that you are yanking my... You are pranking me and yanking my chain. Please, say it isn't so! Oh, I'm afraid it is. It's true. My friends want me to play around with you. I thought it'd be funny. Oh, come on! You didn't find me a bit interesting? Did you care a bit about me? Didn't our mini-date mean anything to you? Didn't you want to see to see me most often? No. <sighs> My heart's been shattered again. No! I'm crying. Oh, dear, why are falling tears? It hurts so much. It hurts so god dang much. But uh, earlier during that mini date, which I'm not even counting that as a date. I never, I'm not counting that as a date. I never counted it as a date after it ended. Anyway, I had her email address, so I sent her an email reply saying, Fandana, I just wanted to say that I appreciate you being the first to approach and say anything to me. I get very nervous, and so I was hoping for that to happen. Also, I appreciate you taking the time to chat with me at the shop. And I was very elated and excited and butterfly heartful from the positive events. But it was not very nice of you to have let me on like that. Just to pull a prank on me. I was terribly hurt. Before you stepped into my world, my heart was previously shared to the previous events and it was 20% repaired. After you came in, my heart had a miraculous speedy recovery to 100%. Then after I had learned from you that it was a lie, my heart was shattered back to 15%. There is a lesson to learn through this. Never make a joke or prank at the expense of another person's feelings and emotions. Still, after cooling off, I also want to say that I thought that you, Fandana, looked very pretty. I enjoyed your charming wit and personality, and I thought of you as a nice and lovely girl. If you should ever change your mind on how you feel about me, you may look me up. But please tell me two things in your reply. You don't smoke, do you? That's st that stuff really turns me off. And you don't already have a boyfriend, do you? Sincerely, Christian Weston Chandler. P.S. You may take this as a clue, but keep in mind that I did graduate from high school with honor roll. I did make good grades at Piedmont Virginia Community College. You may want to look up you may want to look it up in the search. I forget what I had written there. Nice crotch to cross it out. Hmm. Anyway, stay tuned for the next book. Have a good day.